Can you all hear me? Right, okay. So thank you everybody for coming today. This is the 12th, who'd have thought it, the 12th um, virtual Yorkshire Yarn Fest. Um, thank you very much to Sophie for organising the event. She does a sterling job um, uh, getting everybody together and giving us all the relevant information. So thank you, Sophie. And without further ado, we will continue. So I'll just let you have a brief look at the yarn behind you. I'm in the conservatory and the sun's just coming around the corner, so the light's a bit muted. Um, so I apologise for that, but I'll try and do my best. Um, so I've got lots of new things to show you today. Um, the first of which is the yarn for the Yorkshire Yarn Fest theme, which happens every month. And this month it's Equinox. And I've dyed this yarn called Equinox. And as I said in my Instagram post, despite the technical descriptions of Equinox, where it's the sun directly over the equator, for me, Equinox um, is more about change and changing the seasons and changing the colours that we're going to be seeing over the next few months and also hopefully in our lives where you know we'll be able to have enjoy a little bit more freedom and so this epitomizes all of those things for me and it's it's um lots of lovely peachy coral colours and jade and green and gold and salmon um and I love it I hope you do too so that is Equinox. <clears throat> Equinox would go um, really nicely with watermelon cooler if you wanted to do a nice bright project. The Wave Maker Shawl, for example, would look fantastic in this combination. Um, so I want to talk to you about the things on the top row. So I'll talk to you about my new collection, which is um, the this fantastic base, um, new base um, I'm using, which is 60% merino, 20% silk, and 20% yak fingering weight yarn. There's 366 meters um, on each skein. And the yak gives such a complexity of color to the base color that you use. Um, so this one is called Storm, and it's a lovely, rich, dark, inky blue. The base for Equinox is Merino Nylon. Um, uh, it's lovely and soft and very durable and can be used for all sorts of things. Um, this is so soft and it has a beautiful luster, this Merino Yak Silk. Um, so I have eight colours, which I'm going to talk you through now. This one is, as I say, it's called Storm. This one is called Amaranth, and Amaranth is a, a genus of plants with um, long inflorescences that hang down from the stems. And it's a beautiful, deep, dark, rich magenta colour. The next one is called Ruby, which, as it says, is a, a lovely, rich, complex, deep red colour. <clears throat> the next one um, is called Brass, and I think it's, it's just like a, um, a piece of brass. It's a lovely, rich, golden straw colour. It's beautiful. The, yak, the dark yak fibres, the, the, the undyed base is a um, sort of naturally grey colour, and the, the yak fibres in it um, add a kind of heatheriness to the finished yarn. And then we have Peacock, which is a gorgeous sort of greeny um, uh, blue. Stuck for words there. <laughs> Didn't quite know what to say. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? That's Peacock. And then we have Amethyst, which is a lovely rich purple colour.
And then two, four, six. We have camouflage, which is a lovely mossy green colour. And camouflage and brass work really, really nicely together. Um, and the last colour, which also goes really nicely with this trio, is called copper, um, which is a lovely deep, dark, coppery orange. Um, but there's so many different layers of colour in there. Um, if you when, you when you look at it closely, it's not just one flat colour. And the, the yak makes such a difference. It's such a beautiful base. I'm really pleased to be stocking that for you now. Hopefully we'll be able to add some um, other colours to it in the coming months. Um, but they're my eight new colours on my new base, my Merino Silk Yak base. Just put these back so I've got a bit of space. Um, <clears throat> Odyssey. Odyssey makes a, a welcome return to the shop this week after a, um, a long hiatus. This this was requested um, and came from an idea about a Greek holiday, Greek beach holiday. So you've got blue skies and pale sandy beaches and the dark rust colours represent some of the rock formations that you get on beaches. And this is just beautiful. I absolutely love this. And it just is, as I say, reminiscent of a Greek holiday. And who doesn't want, like the idea of having some sunshine um, abroad at the moment. Probably not a sensible idea, but doesn't stop us um, wanting to do it. And then I dyed a batch of the same on mohair to go with it. Now these two together look absolutely amazing when they're knit together. If you have the time, go and have a look at the Woolly & Co Instagram um, site. Aviva is um, the shop owner and she's one of my stockists in America and she's knit a sweater out of these two put together and that's absolutely beautiful absolutely wonderful so we've got odyssey on sock base and silk mohair and then i wanted to talk to you about some of the fades that i'd been um posting about as well um these four skein fades i haven't listed them on the website as kits or sets i've just put them as individual colours, because sometimes people like to mix up the quantities of each what each colour that they have. But this was by far and away the most popular in terms of the um, number of likes for the post that I got. And these four colours from the top to the bottom are platinum. And then if I turn that around a bit more, rusty birch, you can see um, the lovely rust colours. And then you have Vanguard. This one is called Vanguard. And then you have Queen of the Night, which is my favourite tulip. And it's a lovely deep, deep, dark, rich purple. So obviously these work great on their own, but <clears throat> as a fade, I think this set works quite well. I've, I've got, um, for those that are interested in how Vanguard looks when it's lit up, I'm, I'm making my dad some socks at the moment. So this is the Twisty Boys pattern by Nicholas Knits on Instagram. And this is how, and I used a, a mini skein of Queen of the Night. Um, and this is how the Vanguard looks when it's knit up. It's absolutely wonderful. I hope you can all see how lovely it is. Um, the last time I did a Yorkshire Yarn Fest, I introduced a colour called Seashells, um, which is this one. Uh, which is just like a lovely beach with all the lovely pinky, pinky, pinks and grey colours. Um, and I dyed some of it on Suri Silk as well to go with it, for those that are interested. The light really is quite terrible in here, isn't it? Um, but I hope you can see. And the Suri is, is just amazing. It's, it's a lovely alternative to the mohair. It's just as soft, um, but it's soft in a completely different way. Um, and it's also a good alternative for those people that um, 
have a problem with mohair if they're um, sensitive to it or if it makes their skin itch that alpaca silk is absolutely wonderful so this was just a test really as the first color um, on this new Siri silk base and you get 300 meters um, per skein of 50 gram and that's 74 percent Siri alpaca and 26 percent silk Um, another new colour I've got for you today is Volcano. It's quite timely really when you've got these eruptions going on in Iceland. Um, so this is called Volcano and it's just an eruption of... Yeah, where's the camera? Yellows and oranges and as you swirl round you go into the deeper, richer colours and eventually you get to this lovely black um, the other end. So you'll get, if you're making some socks, you'll get some micro striping um, on here. You'll get a black stripe and then a multicoloured stripe. But I think that's beautiful. That's called Volcano. Um, another recently new colour was Pool Party, which um, I've got some stock of. Pool Party is um, just like such a lot of fun. Um, you feel like you could jump right into the pool um the uh neon colors that sprinkle over this are just give it, they just give it so much life and it's on a very very pale gray um backdrop and then i brought back some finchy which is a salmon and gray study so if you were to do um if you wanted to do a fade uh, here, for example, from peach down to dark grey, you could have Finchy, uh, sorry, Bambino, Finchy, Pewter, and then Charcoal at the bottom. Um, what else have we got to show you? Oh yeah, we've got... Um, Phase shift. This is a bit of a Star Trek Voyager um, reference. So this is a lovely cool aqua blue with a purple variegation over the top. So that's going to knit up with a just lovely general variegated um, effect. And this would go really nicely with um, this regal colour that I have here. Or indeed... Um, any of these light blues, um, like um, aqua, for example. I haven't got long. I'm going to run out of time, but I wanted to quickly show you the last time I did a Yorkshire Yarn Fest, I introduced a kit for the Latvianesque cowl, which we sadly didn't have the, the sample for but because um, it wasn't finished. But Dan um, has sent me his, his, um, his sample um, and just look at this, isn't it fantastic? So this is knit out of five different colours of fingering weight yarn um, and it's done in a, a big tube so you don't need to worry about your ends inside. Um, it's lovely for that. Um, and it's just so soft and beautiful and it stays nicely away from your neck if you're a hot body and don't like too much heat but there's just so much fantastic... Um, colour and pattern and texture going on look with these contrasting colours going all the way around so the pre-orders for those kits are um, live on the website um, at the moment and I think I've run out of time um, so I don't think there's anything I haven't shown you there's lots of restocks of regular colours like dark red, midnight train and cardinal if for those red lovers amongst you um, so have a good old mooch about on the website and see what you like because there's lots and lots and lots of stuff that I've added this week. So um, thank you for joining me today. Um, if you, you're, uh, There's a discount code Yorkshire Yarn Fest for orders over £50 today. So please enter that at the checkout. Um, and thanks once again for coming. Thank you.